Hi everyone. Welcome to EHFG Ministries Media. In today's video, we will dive into triggers using the action feature in Freesho. I will show you how to control OBS and vMix broadcasting software directly through Freesho, a powerful and advanced tool for seamless live production. This is the first ever video on YouTube covering this topic and since it's an advanced level concept, be sure to watch carefully and don't skip any part. I will walk you through how to use the triggers future step by step and share some important tips at the end to help you get the best result. Now let's jump into the video tutorial. Once we open the pre-show app, we need to go to the function tab where we can see various options we already familiar with. In this video, we are going to look at how to handle situations where we need to send HTTP request to control a camera or live broadcasting software. Typically, this can be done using triggers in Freesho. However, many people use OBS as their live streaming software and here's the catch. OBS doesn't support HTTP request directly. It doesn't have the future to receive HTTP request. Instead, OBS use WebSockets for remote communication. Because of this limitation, we need a piece of software that acts as a bridge. You can find this tool on GitHub and I will provide the download link in the video description. Now Freeshow built-in triggers won't work in this case because they doesn't support sending an HTTP body message which is required by the bridging software. So how do we make this work? Freeshow provide another feature called an manage emitters under the action tab. This feature allow us to manage an HTTP request with a body message to the software called OBS WebSocket HTTP.exe. This software can translate the HTTP request into WebSocket command which OBS understand and respond to. So by using manage emitter future, we can successfully control OBS from free show even though OBS doesn't support HTTP requests directly. For that, what here we need to do is download a package called an OBS WebSocket. We can click this URL and it will redirect to this one. We need to download this package. I already downloaded and you can download this Windows installer.exe file. Once you download this .exe file, you need to execute this .exe file using command prompt. I will show you how to do that. Here, what we need to do, how we can send request to OBS in the Freesho app, there is a future called manage emitters that we start creating that. I already created a few emitters here that we can create more emitters and we can get understanding how we can manage the emitters here and I am naming it as an C1 or C2 you can name it what name you need and you need to give the URL HTTP colon and this is my IP address and this is the URL you need to select the method as an post method not an get method you can uh, check it in Google what is the get method what is the post method and what is the put and delete then you can understand what is get means you can fetch post means you can push 
that's what we are pushing it to obs right that's what we are using the post method here and the content type it's application slash json and here we need to use and body script right now we are creating an body script it's like an paid hyphen one and the name is scene sorry this name is like an scene and the name the scene name should be we like these names we need to keep in the free show app like what scenes we are named here labeled here the scene capture and stringer the same names we need to mention in the free show app as well if the scene name is stringer this is the body and once we get back here it will create you can add one more scene as well let me create the scene in the obs software free show this is the empty scene that we can call this empty scene it's like an obs free show and that is seen and the name is free show and you need to mention like like this scene name and sorry and we need to change this naming convention as in C name. And you can make it like a scene selection. You can add a number of scenes here. And let me add one more OPS. Here we can add one more scene. Let's name it as an camera one this is the camera one and let we can name it as an camera one and the name is an camera iPhone one you can see this is then camera iPhone one And this is the camera iPhone one. We added the multiple message template or we can call it as an HTTP body message. Once we create this one, then what we have to do here is we need to click the new action and choose the emit data and we name it as an OPS scene selector and here we need to select OBS scene selection which which scene we need to select we need to select these ones that we click the camera right now you can see this is the scene selection that I will resize this free show app we click this one you can see it changed right i'm resizing it again and you can see if i'm clicking this one likewise you can use the free show app you can change your scenes means this future how it will work is you are in single man to operating the free show and along with OBS software instead of going with the OBS software and along with the free show app both apps needs to be managed at a time for these scenarios you can use free show app control OBS software by using these kind of actions means if you want to fade it yeah you can fade it if you want to change this scene yeah you can change this scene you can see that how you can do these things right the free show 
has this much of ability to do even if you want to create in one more thing like in start stream top stream for obs you can also do that let's we create that as well obs start streaming this is our cheat sheet if you want you can ping me i will share it this cheat sheet with you you can use this for the start streaming you can just copy this url and you have to change your url accordingly to with your mission ip address not this ip address you have to change that and you need to paste it here and you need to change it to post that's it the emitter has created and you want to stop it stop the streaming and copy this url and title it as an stop streaming and paste this and send it the post method and get back from here and again create a new action and select the emit data and select the emitter which one you need and click this one that's it and you can check this is the right and rename it OBS start streaming you can check this is the start streaming emitter if you click this one it will start the streaming but right now i didn't set up the streaming that's what it's not rigging if you set up the streaming and if you gave the details your stream key and stream url stream url and stream key once you click this start streaming it will start streaming to the YouTube or which platform you can use with the OBS. It will going to be start streaming and you want to stop it. You can create a new action again. OBS stop streaming and choose as an emit data and stop streaming. And once you click this one, it will goes to stop your streaming. This is how you can control the OBS software using the emitters. And right now, we can check vMix app. vMix app as an HTTP direct request. We can use that function, that ability using the free show app. And now I open the vMix app. How we can create a triggers using HTTP request. You need to click the triggers and you need to name it like an vmix trigger like that and you need to mention the http url here is our http url you can also check this one this is the http url it will do a paid option here that we tested i am minimizing this one and i am open my pre-show app and let we can check if i click paid it will shift you can see you can see it is moving from it is switching from preview to live, live to preview. I am doing it again. You can do that. Using the pre-show app. Like that, you can use lot of functions we have. We use trigger to start the live streaming. And we can use the trigger to stop the live streaming. And we can switch between uh, one layer to another layer or we can switch between one input to another input by using pre-show triggers function. This is how the triggers will come into the picture to bring any HTTP request and um, you can use emitters to trick any particular application using the pre-show app. I think this video will help you to use triggers much more efficient as your application has that functionality HTTP functionality you can use triggers and you can send request to that particular um, application any HTTP request it can accept you can use 
you can use the triggers and you can send it if you need our pre-show emitter configuration please comment down below and we will definitely share this pdf with you and you can access this pdf websocket commands and you can insert in your word triggers as an emitters and you can start sending actions to obs software i hope this video can help you if you have any doubt or any queries please comment down below we will definitely reply you and you can mail us and we will reply to the mail as well thanks for watching bye bye